What is up guys and gals? As this title is talking about, we are going to be opening up one of the Amazon Turbos. And uh, basically, this is the same thing as the eBay Turbo. They're made in China. Um, I actually just opened it a second ago and thought I was recording and literally sat here and talked to the camera for like 10 minutes about this Turbo. But um, I'll briefly go over it just for the sake of making the actual video because I was wondering about it. Um, and wondering how it stacked up to the actual eBay Turbo. So this is the Amazon Turbo in question. Um, here is the part number if you were wondering about it. Okay, and um, basically this is a T350 trim that's internally gated. I wanted to go with an internal, internal wastegate to save the money on buying an external wastegate because this turbo is for the upcoming uh, budget cheap turbo car challenge that uh, 802 and Wideband are hosting. I'm going to be a part of that. I'm one of the uh, the entrants or con and contestants. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's definitely going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. And um, this is going to be the turbo I'm using that's in question. So um, intake side, cast wheel, nothing special. Spins pretty good. Um, exhaust side, got a V-band flange on there um, and the internal wastegate. Uh, where it bolts up to the manifold t3 bolt up nothing nothing crazy uh, it gets its uh, reference for the wastegate right off the compressor housing uh, it's an old style m12 compressor housing I don't remember what they were, these were used on but they were all over the place they still are um, the feed side for the oil uh, on the turbo and then the drain side for the oil on the turbo. The feed side is threaded and it does come with a banjo bolt. I'll show, I'll show you that here in a second. I'm not going to be using that because I'm going to be using the um, the flanges that come with like a feed or a drain line kit. But this turbo also does come with a restrictor. I'll show you that also. So um, seems to be a solid turbo. They got it oiled up. Um, this was for me the same price as buying it on eBay. But with the prime shipping it got here in two days instead of um, normally, whenever I buy something on eBay that's coming out of like California, where that's where most of the turbo parts are, uh, it takes like, I don't know, a week, maybe a week and some change, five business days, depending on when, when in the week I order it. So, um, much rather pay the same price and get it here sooner. So, if you're an Amazon Prime member, I just got some hair in my mouth, what the heck is that? Anyway, so yeah, if you're an Amazon Prime member, I'll put that link down below for this turbo in the description. And um, here's one of this is the banjo bolt that comes with I guess if you wanted to use that for to make like a feed line um, I'm not gonna be using that it comes with this restrictor right here that screws down into the feed side and then you put in you know oil I'm probably not gonna be running that either uh, the feed line kit that I have it comes with a flange that has a built-in restrictor, so I'm gonna be restricting that oil already. That's a crucial, crucial thing for a lot of these cheaper turbos. You gotta run a restrictor because too much oil pressure will blow out the actual um, seals in the turbo. Then it also comes with a pack of like little kind of gloves. I've never seen that before. Um, and a T3 manifold um, gasket, and then a feed and drain line gasket. So. You already got you some gaskets and some gloves. You is ready to go. So uh, I think this one was like 120 bucks. Oh, and I forgot. It comes with a, a V-band flange so you can make yourself a downpipe if you don't already have a downpipe and a, uh, a V-band clamp. So bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There it is. So you got everything you need uh, for to start your little turbo project or for me to start my turbo project. So. Yeah, link down below for that, and um, I hope everybody's having a great evening. There's going to be a lot more content coming up with this Accord that's kind of kickstarting me back into the whole like car thing. Um, if you can't tell, i got boxes everywhere. I'm actually moving in about a week and a half, so um, where I'm moving to, I'm going to have my own garage. So I've thought about doing some um, maybe like once a week, like a, a weekly um of the of the evening or of the night live stream of like working on the car or just talking about the car let me know comment down below if you guys like that kind of thing um i got some more parts coming in that i'm going to be going over uh piece by piece uh just to show you guys like kind of what comes in the box and kind of breaking down like those barriers because that was the biggest thing whenever i was buying ebay parts is sometimes like it'll show you pictures of like it bolted up to a car but you don't know exactly what it comes with 
because the descriptions are a little vague or like this turbo for example is on Amazon but it doesn't give a full description like it doesn't say what size the uh, the v-band is but it gives you a v-band adapter so I guess you don't you don't have to buy one so you don't really need to know what size it is obviously but you know pictures can be deceiving because I've, I've, I've ordered stuff uh, thinking like oh it's got to be this size and it's definitely not in the past so um, yeah, but thank you all for coming out. This is Brandon on Motor Nubs. I'll see you on the next one. Adios. If you have any questions about that turbo, please comment down below and I will answer them. Yeah.